Your Excellency, Prime Minister of uh, Hungary, ministers, ambassadors, and my dear colleague, Mr. Francis Gary, uh, Director General of uh, WIPO. Dear colleagues, good morning. Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019. It's a pleasure to be back in Hungary and Budapest four years after ITU Telecom World 2015. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for your presence here today. It speaks to the importance that Hungary placed on the enduring relationship with ITU and the central role of information and communication technologies in the country's future. It was an honor to hold our telecom event here in 2015. We are delighted to have been invited again and to have you here to open this telecom 2019. I also want to take this opportunity to recognize WIPO Director General Francis Carey. ITU and WIPO have a long and a productive history of cooperation. I was pleased that our Director General of WIPO addressed our third AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva recently, in May. And I'm grateful that he has taken time out of his very busy schedule to be here with us today. We at ITU are committed to bringing the benefits of the digital economy to everyone, everywhere. Over the next four days, ITU Telecom World 2019, we will provide governments, companies, investors, and others from around the world with a platform to create new businesses opportunities in areas as diverse and promising as mobility, 5G, artificial intelligence, and smart cities, to name a few. It's an opportunity for all of us to help harness technologies critical to economic growth and development. It is an opportunity for all of us to promote small and medium-sized enterprises. SMEs are on the front line of today's digital transformation. Their positive impact on innovation and job creation is unmatched. I'm pleased to see more and more SMEs engaging with our event. This time, more than 150 SMEs from over 40 countries are represented, recommended by their administration at this event. It all started here in Budapest four years ago at our Telecom World 2015, which was my first event as my new role as uh, ITU Secretary General. Since then, SMEs have become one of ITU's priorities, so much so that uh, our last uh, plenary potential conference here in Dubai last uh, November decided to encourage the ITU to invite the SMEs to join ITU as SME members, of course, with uh, reasonable, very low fee engagement, because I was told that the new fee engagement, no responsibilities, no commitment. So ladies and gentlemen, ITU Telecom World 2019 comes at an important time. In just a few weeks, ITU member states will head to Shammai Singh in Egypt for ITU's World Radio Communication Conference 2019. On the agenda are key issues such as wireless broadband communications using new technologies, 5G, intelligent transport systems, and networks for monitoring and predicting climate changes, and low Earth orbiting satellite networks and high attitude platforms. At stake is the chance 
to transform and improve the lives of millions across the globe in support of the Sustainable Development Goals and closing the digital divide. By meaning digital divide, we are aware of the challenges that uh, no matter how hard we worked over the last decade, how wonderful we achieved the development of ICT everywhere, still today we have a half population not connected online yet. And last night uh, at a very special dinner occasions, one of my colleagues, uh, the Vice Minister from Nigeria, told me that in his country, still today, 40 million population not connected with uh, mobile phones. So this uh, digital divide is a uh, reality. So we have to work hard with uh, our partners to create a good environment to invest uh, the connectability infrastructure. So I put four eyes as one of the slogan for my priorities. Four eyes are infrastructure. We still to have to upgrade the infrastructure with uh, new technologies, but we also have to extend our infrastructure to connect uh, villages, to connect those not connected yet. And with this kind of challenge, we need investment. So we have to create a good uh, atmosphere to invite good investment in the ICT, both for technologies and extending the infrastructure to the poor area not connected yet. And then third eye is innovation. We need to have innovation to do the business. And the five last eye is inclusive. We should not leave anybody behind. So that is uh, so-called four eyes. I first highlighted two years ago at the WTDC, 217 in Buenos Aires. I believe we can make a difference right here and now with ITU Telecom World 2019. Today, Budapest is not only the capital of Hungary, but Budapest becomes the capital of the ICT world. I want to thank once again our host, Prime Minister Viktor Orban, the government and the people of Hungary, and the city of Budapest. You have been strong supporters of ITU Telecom World and ITU activities, and we look forward to working with you in the months and years ahead to continue building Hungary's digital future. Let me thank all the ministers, heads of uh, telecom agencies, industry leaders, SMEs, and all participants who are here with us today. Together, I'm confident we will be able to expand avenues for cooperation and ICT infrastructure investment, make ICT applications and services more relevant, secure, and affordable, and give people the tools and the skills they need to navigate and succeed in the digital economy. Together, we can and will bring about the connectability that matters. The theme of this year's event here in Hungary, the region, and the rest of the world. I wish you a very successful and a productive ITU Telecom World 2019. Thank you very much.